Welcome back. Maryland's six district congressional seats up for grabs in 2024 as incumbent David Trone runs for the U.S. Senate. We have welcomed many of the candidates on the show for a district that includes part of Montgomery County and all of Frederick, Allegheny, and Washington counties. Where my guest tonight is now the mayor of Hagerstown. She's Takesha Martinez. She's up late with me tonight here on The Final Five. Welcome in. Thank you. We, so f we first met you here uh, on Fox 5 back in February when you became mayor of Hagerstown. You had been a member of council for a couple of years. You ascended to the, to the mayorship. What's it been like so far to, to serve your hometown? It's been amazing. I'm born and raised. Um, I think that I've learned, not I think, I know I've learned so much by just watching local politics. I came in as a council person and just listened. Yeah. Um, and as I listened, I understood the process of government. And so getting appointed to mayor has been amazing because I got to listen for two years. But you, you were appointed, but you also ran and you won. I did. You, you won that council seat and you also uh, made some history because at the time you were elected to council, it was the first time you had two, uh, two African Americans who were elected at the same time. Yes, You're sir. the first black mayor of Hagerstown. A lot of firsts there. But for people who, who may not be not, not know much about Hagerstown, what's been what's been your main your main challenge and your main accomplishment so far as, as mayor? Well, I was in foster care until I was 18 and a half. And so I believe that my challenge was 20 years before I filed to run for city council um, was the process of uh, getting trained to become a mediator mm -hmm. and then being able to hear and understand other people even if I feel the conflict or even if I'm offended. Um, and I feel like for someone like me that has had as much trauma and I'm born and raised in Hagerstown and so traumatized by every system supposed to keep me safe there. Um, and that's been the challenge of raising my children at home. When someone asked me what's your biggest accomplishment, I said it was staying home yeah. because I feel like sometimes we leave to heal in other places and I felt like it was important for me to serve my city, serve my community, and then fix those issues, right? Fix those issues that people like me don't feel heard and understood. Uh, some of the issues that, that really uh, involve the entire 6th District include opioid abuse, which is something yes. that your predecessor moved on to work in the Moore administration, something that's affected so many people. And many of the candidates we've had on the show have said that's one of the main things that they'd like to tackle if elected the Congress out there. What are some of the other issues that people in Hagerstown across this, this, this pretty big district, what's yes. on their minds? Yeah, I, it's public safety. It's public safety. Um, I come from the background of mediation, and I was facilitating conversations between the police and the youth, and facil facilitating conversations between the community and the elected officials. And I feel everything is based around public safety. If people don't feel safe, if the public doesn't feel safe, if we don't have ad adequate health care, and you know, those types of things, then our safety is threatened. And so that was the first thing I wanted to work on as mayor, is the public safety, making sure that I'm being a good ambassador, mm -hmm. also teaching de-escalation. You know, things like that, when you're talking about listening to people and, and, and working as a mediator, you're looking to enter a job in a line of work where we have seen now more than ever, people can't get on the same page about anything. Yeah. It's a matter of wanting the same things in life, but trying to find a way to get there that's been been the big problem. So wh do you look at Washington? I mean, I think people look at folks like you who are running for, for Congress. Why would you want to be part of that group? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like I need to be part of that group and because I can stand in the midst of conflict, and even if I'm offended, and even if it's personally, it feels personal to me, I can still make sure people feel heard and understood by reflecting back their feelings and values. Now, I'm trained to do that. That. Mm -hmm. And so it takes a lot of work to be neutral in a space, um, but I feel like that's what's wrong and that's what we need. We need politicians at the table that understand that just because it's personal or you're offended doesn't mean you move from the table. Um, and that's that's my superpower <laughs> is being able to sit at the table yeah. um, and and feel all of the things that's happening, but at the same time make sure everyone feels heard and understood. As you look at things on the national uh, level right now, and and obviously uh, we're look we're moving into a presidential election year, which is what voters are going to go to the polls and think about who they want to be in the White House as well as choose a member of Congress for for everywhere, including the sixth district. When you look at at where you are and where you look at other parts, because it's a pretty big district. It I mean, is. you're going all the way out towards. Out towards Garrett County, you're looking in, into into Montgomery County here. Different people have so many different backgrounds. It's a very diverse area. But but public safety, you mentioned. What other issues can can really bring everybody together? And 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 what can you be the most effective voice in for for the entire district? 
Well, I am in Western Maryland. I'm a nonpartisan mayor and a very conservative county. And I think that I want people to understand that whenever I sat down at the table, I had to work with people that politically were not the same as me. And then at the same time, I had to keep coming back to the table. And I think that when we think about this district, we think about Montgomery County all the way up to Garrett County, really we need someone in the middle. Not literally, but literally and figuratively. And I believe that I've had to sit with people that don't think like me, move like me, I feel like I'm the only candidate that's in this that has actually gone up against some very serious opposite side of the aisle. And I'm able to be an ambassador and I'm able to work that, you know, in a, yeah. in a positive way. We have a, a long way to go before that uh, before that primary. Obviously, we're getting through Election Day uh, next month, which involves Virginia, but then really the hard work has begun and continued. We're going to keep talking to you and everybody else in this race. That's Takesh Martinez joining us here on The Final Five. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for Great having to see me. Tonight.